Girl, I'ma keep it a buck right now. No ingrown hairs. Ingrown who? Ingrown's not welcomed here. With that suave deodorant, girl used to be in Garden Center picking up bags of mulch. Bricks. Girl, and I wasn't sweating, wasn't mussy, none of that. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Dre, and I'm back with another video. So, y'all, in today's video, girl, this is, like, hygiene-related. We're gonna be talking about how to get rid of and keep away armpit odor, like, immediately. Like, immediately. It's fall time right now, but, girl, if you live down south, it's already, it's still hot. You know, you got a little breeze here and there, but it's still hot, girl. I know sometimes people just have natural armpit odor, and I'm here to help you out, girl. I'm here to help you out, honest. And y'all probably like, Drea, well, how you gonna help us with armpit odor if you don't even want deodorant? And if you new here, girl, I don't want deodorant because I don't be messy, okay? Not because I'm dirty, but I don't be messy, okay? Period. I'm about to give y'all the tea. I'm gonna give you the game of how you can smell good all year round, no matter what season, no matter what temperature, no matter the situation, no matter none of that. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. But basically, everything in this video is gonna deal with in the shower, out the shower, and internal. First things first, I'm gonna get this out the way. Drink water. I'm sorry, drinking water can solve a lot of problems that you might be having, girl. If you, you know, just taking a sip of water here, it does. If you want to people that be like water nasty, girl, I don't know. <laughs> girl, I don't know what to tell you because water is literally the source to fixing a lot of things that might be wrong with you, girl. Literally, I'm not even joking, okay? If you can't drink a gallon, which I know not a lot of people could, girl, drink a half a gallon. Like, I'm gonna leave a link to my gallon water bottle that I always use, and I'm gonna leave a link to, like, the little liter one that I be having. Girl, that one purple, real cute, real cute. But anyway, let's get into the video for real. Okay, first off, one of the main reasons why you might be constantly sweating or constantly mussy, girl, I'm gonna keep it a buck right now. You might just be hitting your armpits with some Dove body wash and calling it a day like you might scrub two times under the like you're not even using like a body scrub you're not using nothing but some dove body wash you know something that's so delicate for the skin but you just you know you're gonna constantly be musty and sweaty if you don't you need to use a bar soap and when i say bar soap i mean like an antibacterial soap or you can use the dove sensitive skin one but y'all know i'm a ride or die for dial bar soap one thing about it two things for sure hitting them armpits with antibacterial soap dial girl you ain't gonna be must if you have an ingrown hair under your arm too it's, it's gonna help with that too like with the i don't really say inflammation but that's what it be helping with like you know when a, a ingrown get a little swole going with that antibacterial soap literally you putting deodorant on an ingrown that's putting bacteria in going with that antibacterial soap but yeah y'all like i told y'all i don't have my dial bar soaps right now i have the one i'm using in the shower i have dove sensitive skin but i have two dr Bronner peppermint ones and girl if you don't have no antibacterial soap just use a dr Bronner bar soap you're gonna be good all the dove sensitive skin all the dove white one you're gonna be good now another thing is y'all be gonna hit the armpits with a loofah a little soft loofah girl what is that gonna do and one thing about it let me show y'all don't hit your armpits with no loofah and don't hit it with like a soft top these towels is cute real aesthetic all that all that all that and it's like a light purple so y'all could kind of see i need y'all to hit your armpits with a washcloth a rag whatever you want to call it oh this smells so good mm, smell like the dryer sheets oh god and the fabric song. But anyways, hit your armpits with a rag. Not a loofah. Not a little soft, aesthetic, cute towel you want to use for a little video. Whatever the case is. Like, I understand some people naturally have sensitive armpits. But girl, you're not breaking up none of that old deodorant that's under your arms or none of that. If you're using a little soft towel or a loofah, get you a washcloth, a face towel, a rag. Like, this is what we call it. I call this a face towel or a washcloth. <sighs> Some people call it a rag because they be rough. Get you some. Get you a little four pack, whatever, from Walmart. I racked up for Black Friday. Girl, I got towels for a day. Okay, period. Now, like I was saying with the Dr. Browners and the antibacterial soap dial, is it's going to get all that built up deodorant off. It's going to get the mustiness off, the sweat smell off. Because, you know, sometimes you could be sweaty and just smell like sweat. And sometimes you could be musty. Like, if you know, you know. You know the difference between sweat, natural smell, and must. 
okay? Dr. Burners and Dow Bar Soap is going to leave your armpits feeling so smooth. But next, next is a good trick too. Now y'all, next you want exfoliate. Exfoliating, I understand some people have sensitive armpits. I understand. Exfoliating going to get rid of that dead skin. It's going to lighten your armpits because the reason why a lot of people have dark armpits is because they have built up the ordering under their arms and it's just, you know, they think they really getting it but they really not getting it. Y'all know. Personally, I'ma always stick beside Tree Hut when it comes to a abrasive scrub. Get you some Tree Hut, girl. I think they also have a Tree Hut turmeric, so you know it could be giving you that deep scrub and lightening your armpits. Double up the lightening of the armpits, if y'all get what I'm saying. But this is the coconut lime one. I told y'all this is the one that I'm riding by right now. This is like literally my current fit. Period. But you also can make your own, girl. This was the vitamin C one, and I just made my own scrub in here. Period, girl. You. You could either make your own or you can buy a tree hut to each his own okay but one thing about it if you want to buy a scrub you know for your armpits to get rid of the odor the dead skin the darkness in general the built up the ordering the smell all that girl do not get dug I'm sorry, Dove is a little cute body scrub. You know, it's a body polish at that. You know, it's meant to make your skin feel, you know. I mean, after you done shaving, I guess you could use it under your arms, but don't use that to break down the deodorant, the dead skin, the funk. Just Dove scrub is just a little too cute. You know, it might get the job done with a little bit more elbow grease, but Tree Hut gonna get you right every time. Period. Next is shaving. Now y'all know hair does hold odor. So I'm not saying, you know, you can have hair under your arms and not smell. Now y'all, when it comes to shaving, I'm going to stick beside this EOS. This is the Shea Butter Shave Cream. 24 hour moisture and it smells like vanilla bliss. Girl, this smells so good. I kid you not. If you never tried this shaving cream before, try. I don't know, every time I use that shaving cream, I feel like my hair comes back. Like, it takes longer for my hair to grow back. But I'm about to show y'all something else. This is the Big Sensitive Advanced Water Activated Moisture Strip Five Blade Razor. One thing about it and two things for sure. I keep me some razors. These are five blade razors. Y'all can't really see, but this is five blade razors. It's a big you could change the head on it and keep the the stem itself i don't nick myself with this i don't get razor bumps with this I, this is just this razor is that girl you know it costs a penny but it ain't too expensive this razor is that girl use some of that eos shaving cream in the vanilla scent girl go to shaving i'm telling you this gonna glide on your skin and i feel like with five blades no ingrown hairs ingrown who ingrown is not welcome to here period but this is the little thing i got now if you one of the girlies that don't like shaving which is understandable girl because to be honest who really be having the time for it you understand like self-care days yes shave in a heartbeat but if you want something that's gonna do the work for you get you some nair and i know a lot of people be like nair i burnt myself with nair one time i didn't use it ever again girl but probably because you kept it on too long that's y'all problem now y'all don't read directions y'all don't follow the instructions come on nair is that girl nair is gonna forever be that girl period but this is the one that i typically like to use i used to use the cocoa cocoa i think it was the cocoa butter one but this is the aloe one girl love it obviously nair is gonna smell like perm but it smells like you can smell that hint of aloe in there one thing about it you ain't gonna have no ingrown you ain't gonna have no irritation if you use it correctly you have to use it correctly girl don't say oh my god i took your advice and i burnt myself girl you probably left it on for 37 minutes that's probably why okay nair is that girl she gonna forever be that girl but with the underarms like i was saying if you don't like shaving just put a little nair on there girl you know just Keep your arms up or you can put them down. It don't matter either way to cut. Go arms up or down. The nair is going to work. Me personally, if I nair my armpit, the nair only needs to be on there like three minutes. Not even that. Like, girl, once I start seeing, I say, mm, I'm not playing. I'm not playing. I'm not trying to burn myself because if y'all remember, well, I got a lot of new subscribers. But from back in the day when the, the magic shaving cream had went viral on TikTok, girl, my mama husband used it to shave his head. He used the powder. I went to the hair store and got the cream. My armpits never been the same since. Like, my armpits are so sensitive now. It's ridiculous. I'll just be like, 
I was just trying to follow a trend. That's why everything you see on TikTok ain't good. Literally, my armpits is a prime example. But anyway, yeah, just about three minutes and whoo, and that's it, girl. Now, next, we're going to talk about once you get out the shower, out the tub, whichever one you prefer. Girl, once you're done cleaning your body, you want to get you some good old witch hazel. Witch hazel never did me wrong, ever. Witch hazel is that girl going to forever be that girl. Like, period. Okay, get you some witch hazel, girl. As y'all can see, I need some more. But if you don't want to use the witch hazel liquid, you can get the wipes. It's going to do the same thing, girl. You get a little cotton round. I'm going to use my towel as an example. You get a little cotton round, put some on them, wipe your armpit on both sides. First of all, witch hazel gets rid of odor, and it's going to stop you from sweating. I don't know what it is about this witch hazel. I'm not going to hold you. But when my armpits be acting up, like I said, they haven't been the same since I used that magic shave cream. Like, if they, like, kind of inflamed off whatever use this put that on there and it helps i don't know what about it but some about it girl it's just gonna get the job done okay and you're gonna be good to go like it's gonna get rid of the smell all day you're not gonna be sweating i mean and if you a person that really sweats sweat and that's when your smell starts to brew then girl in the middle of the day you know if you really don't have time to take a shower girl this is when witch hazel wipes are really good for you i don't have none right now but get you the wipe wipe your armpits it's gonna break down that deodorant as well. Reapply your deodorant and you're gonna be good until you're able to take your shower at night, period. Or your bath at night, period. Okay, y'all, now the next thing we're gonna talk about is deodorant. Deodorant is an important factor when it comes to mustiness, odor, smell, whatever the case is. And some people probably be like, why is she saying musty? Girl, one thing about this two things, sure, I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. I'm gonna be real. I had to type this up. Now, these are the deodorants that helped me. Like, anytime I be sweating, because mind you, I did work at Walmart. At Walmart, point i was working like on house like garden center and then you girl sometimes walmart ac don't be working you just be sweating all that okay and by the time you get off you might have a little smell this is the deodorant that helped me the suave 24 hour protection the powder scent one thing about it, that powder scent just gonna do it every time it smells so fresh so clean i love that one like i have backups of that one like in my tote like a little small travel size because y'all know i don't use deodorant girl. i might i'm gonna put one in a purse but I ain't putting no deodorant on on a daily, you understand? With that suave deodorant, girl, I used to be in garden center picking up bags of mulch, bricks. Girl, and I wasn't sweating, wasn't mussy, none of that. I mean, my back might have been sweating, but my armpits, girl, they was fresh. I could raise them up and you, ooh, my shoulder just popped. I raise them up and all you would smell is powder, period. And when I tell y'all the other, the other deodorants, I don't want to hear, oh, I tried that and I was still sweating, I was still mussy, but did you do the steps that I told you before this? Okay, next is the cucumber, the dove cucumber one. Some about that one, not the other scents, the pomegranate, all that. They smell good and all, but some about that dove cucumber deodorant, it's gonna do it every time. And I think now they got like the zero aluminum one. I never tried that one. I'm talking about the original dove cucumber stick. I mean, if you all about the aluminum free and all that, I heard that the dove brand, the dove cucumber one to be exact too, does keep the, the odor, the smell, the mustiness away from under your arms all day. Now, uh, aluminum free deodorant that I heard didn't really work that everybody really just gassing up is the native now me personally i'm not buying it because it's too high i'm not spending my money on that and i didn't hear so many bad reviews but i keep hearing people say oh it smells so good but does it last under your arms i'm not buying mm -mm. y'all y'all mm -mm. not about to keep gassing stuff and keep having people buy it and wasting their money go inflation stuff is high like stop lying to these people on these videos just so they can buy something one thing i'm gonna tell you is don't trust the dove spray girl i was a for the Dove deodorant spray. I mean, me and my cousin used to rack up on them, girl. And the smell I always used to go with was either the pink one or the cucumber one. Something about that cucumber, girl, it just did it every time. But girl, that's just gonna sweat off of you. You gonna, you gonna, when you put it on, you still might smell a little smell or something, you know? I, I don't know, when I used the Dove spray, I felt like it was making me musty. That's how I felt. And mind you, this was probably about five years ago. It was making me musty. That's how I personally feel, okay? And next is, if you lost all faith in women's deodorant, you just like, none of the women deodorants I'm using is working. I'm about to put y'all on. Get the men's degree. What is it? Degree what? It's like, it come in a gray one. If I could find a picture, I'm gonna pop it up right here. I have some. I think the green and the blue smells the best. That's gonna get you right. I don't know.
know what it is about men's deodorant, but men's deodorant, I feel like it doesn't mask the must or nothing. It keep the must away. The must don't come when you wear men's degree deodorant. I don't know why. I don't know what's the difference between men's and women's deodorant, but men's deodorant is better. I don't know, girl, I don't know. Fight your mom about it. That's the truth, though. And the last thing is, you want to make sure you're doing at least once a week or every other week. You want to detox. Like, give your armpits a detox, girl. You know how we do detoxes on our faces. You know, they got the foot detoxes. All that, all that, all that you do a detox for your body. Like, do a detox for your armpits. You know? Now, y'all, when I say detox, detoxing your armpits, you can use the Indian healing clay mask. You can use the Aztec clay mask. You can use that too. I don't have no more of that one. I use. I don't know where is that though, girl. Use this. This is gonna help your armpits so much. Take it from me. It's gonna help your armpits so much. Like when my armpits be going through it, this absolutely helps. And the last thing for real is the internal health. What you wanna do is drink a lot of water, like I said, and you also wanna take like chlorophyll pills, capsules, or drink liquid chlorophyll. Now y'all know when chlorophyll was real popular on TikTok, girl, I made a few videos about it. And the link that I was leaving down below in my description, you know, them people jacked up the price on the chlorophyll. But now people not buying the chlorophyll. Not a, not the price back down to like $8, $10. It ain't $26 no more. The battery just died again. Ah... Don't know what I was saying. It might have been, it all depends on what you prefer. Do you prefer to swallow the pill or you don't mind like you drank enough water in a day for you to just drop a few drops in your water and consume. It's going to take, like if it's your first time taking chlorophyll, it's going to take about a week for it to start working. Basically, on the bottle it says it's super concentrated, first of all. It got 90 servings. I don't think I used this 90 times because I just, you know, I just added to my water. But this is a natural internal deodorizer, which means you start drinking as you start taking chlorophyll feel you're not gonna be musty that's why i don't be musty you know smell like sweat and being must is two different smells but it freshens your breath natural mint flavor promotes cleanliness all around get you some chlorophyll girl whether it's the capsule pills powder liquid it doesn't matter just get you some and i promise you i promise you within a week a week and a half may you're gonna see a difference now y'all i really think that's it for this video i don't know how long this video really gonna be because y'all know your girl was fighting with the batteries but that's it for this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe subscribe girl we almost have thousand subscribers subscribe and i'm gonna see you on the next one bye I'ma leave this stuff linked down below too, especially the chlorophyll. All right now, y'all. Bye. I told y'all I'm that bitch from the south. I knock a nigga's socks off. I'm outside, swinging sticks. I ain't talking top golf. I've been killing features. I'm on everything like hot sauce. So I don't act.